a divine word missionary, Father Marian Zelazek, hailing from Poland and belonging to the SVD India East Province, was called to his eternal reward on 30th April 2006 in Puri, Odisha, after 56 years of tireless and dedicated service to the least, last and the lost, especially the lepers. At his demise, one of his leper colony mates instantaneously exclaimed, Here is a great and holy man, truly a man of God, who by his presence in Puri has made the holy city of Lord Jagannath a holier city and a better place to live. <laughs> Born on 30th January 1918 in a village named Palenia near Poznan city in the northwest of Poland, Father Marian was the seventh of the 14 children. Mr. Stanislaw and Mrs. Stanislaw. A large vegetable garden on a 20-acre plot and a grinding mill cater to their daily needs. Regular mass at the parish church, various devotions, adorations and most of all, daily family prayers and rosary give strength to the Zelzik family. Unfortunately, when Marian was still small, Due to some financial crisis, the Zelzik family had to sell their village property and move out to the nearby city of Poznan in 1927, where his father managed the family in a small stationary shop. Through a Polish Eswede missionary from Brazil who visited Marian's church on home holidays and left behind an Eswede magazine, the little altar boy Marian gained interest in being an Eswede. He thus joined the SVD High School in Gurnagupa, near Poznan, in 1932. Having joined the SVD Novitiate in 1937, Marian began his philosophy in the second year. The monstrous World War II of 1939 forced Marian and his group of 26 seminarians into the Nazi concentration camp at Dachau in May 1940. Marian was grateful to be one of the ten survivors of this inhuman nightmare that lasted full five years, during which two of his companions were released on ill health and fourteen of them perished, not, as Marian says, by bullets, but by inhuman cruelty of hunger and thirst. After his release from the Dachau concentration camp on 29th April 1945, Marian went back to SVD and was sent to Rome to continue his studies for priesthood. Father Marian was ordained as an SVD priest in Rome on 18 September 1948. He served the Polish immigrants along with pursuing his licentiate in theology at the University of St. Anselm. It was only after his ordination and licentiate studies that he went back to his homeland and celebrated his first Mass with the family. As a Divine Word missionary, Father Marian's first choice was China. But the 1950 Cultural Revolution closed China's doors to foreign missionaries. Thus, Father Marian chose to work in Indian mission. After a long 21-day sea voyage from Genova in Italy, he landed at Bombay in March 1950 and was assigned to Gangpur mission of Orissa State, the second SVD missionary in India, that later gained the name Sambalpur Diocese. Father Marian landed at Kesramal, the first mission station of Gangpur mission, and after a short stay was sent to 
Banjnagar in November 1950 to learn the state language Odia so as to equip him to begin an SVD apostolic school and recruit and train local vocations. As a vocation promoter, as a director of apostolic school and as secretary of the Diocesan Catholic Schools Committee, Father Marian served in and around Hamirpur Raurkela for 25 long years. Having gained proficiency in Odia, Sadri and Hindi, he worked hard for the empowerment of Adivasis through education. He gets the credit of having obtained government recognition to 175 mission schools and many others eligible for government grant in aid for payment of teachers. As a first parish priest of Bondamunda in 1969, Father Marian built not only the new church and the bell tower, but also transformed this large railway shunting yard into a full-pledged parish with a lively Christian community. His grotto in honor of the Black Madonna of Poland attracted many. He was also instrumental in bringing the Holy Spirit sisters to Bondamunda, their first community in Odisha. Under obedience to his regional superior, Father Liam Horsfall SVD, Father Marian took up the new mission in June 1975 in Puri, the holy city of the Hindu community. The inhuman sufferings of the Nazis at the concentration camp in Dachau made Father Marian convinced to incarnate into the lives of the uncared, unloved and the unwanted, especially the lepers, and be transformed into their loving Bapa, meaning Father. The small and dilapidated existing chapel at Puri, under the pastoral care of Father Marian, rose to be a beautiful parish community with a new church inaugurated in 1984. Reading the signs of the time, sensing the dire need for inter-religious dialogue, he set up a library research center in the parish campus to invite people of all faiths, which is well patronized by the public till today. Father Marian realized that Puri attracted not only Jagannath devotees but also thousands of beggars, most of whom were lepers. They landed here to make a living out of begging as well as to escape social ostracization. They were mostly at the mercy of the vagaries of nature, without a roof over their heads and without any medical help. Father Marian turned his merciful gaze on them. Father, 
ଆଜି ଝାଡ଼ାରେ କି ରୋଗଟେ କ'ଣ ହେଲା ଖେଳିକି ଆମେ ଯାଉଛୁ ଆଜି ପର୍ଯ୍ୟନ୍ତ ଆମେ ସାହାଯ୍ୟ ପାଉଛୁ ନା ଆଉ With the assistance of Maria Bambino sisters, he started a mobile dispensary to cater to the diagnosis and treatment of these abandoned lepers. Then his life of dedication, I appreciate so much because he spent his time and energy for their sake. A dispensary equipped with a pathological lab in the church premises proved beneficial as one could come for treatment without being noticed by others. The Puri administration cooperated with this selfless man of God. By 1980, the mobile dispensary got rooted as Karunalaya Leprosy Care Center in the leper village itself with medical facilities inclusive of OPD, diagnosis center, dental clinic and a 24-bed ward with regular visiting leprosy specialist and trained paramedical staff. Father Delagat has done wonderful service in Puri City for leprosy patients all around. Means treatment, this rehabilitation, their uh, children's education and otherwise helping the needy. Suppose uh, some patients uh, uh, then want to have an operation anywhere, he was helping with open heart and uh, means uh, hearing their uh, agony was very much affected. I have shared his agony. We have shared many things. And uh, in heaven, his soul must be very happy. Very happy. He is too, for example, this leprosy, Karuna life and battery to school. Par excellence, both are doing good service. At present, for you people's kind infirmity. After uh, nine students and born, this, this is the only institution in Puri doing human service to this leprosy patient. I, I have seen and these fellows also are the witness. Once the basic medical needs were met, for the Marian started looking into various other needs of the lepers and their families. First of all, he started a housing project to provide them decent homes. Many of them, due to their physical disabilities, could not go for begging and suffered hunger and malnutrition. Hence, Father Marian started Mercy Kitchen to feed them freely. He also clothed them, provided toiletries and also organized the last rites after their death. As of today, about a hundred leprosy patients are enrolled on the Mercy Kitchen Roll. कथा हमें कोई बात को भाई दुख लगा गुजी, ये हमारा बापा, ये हमारा माँ, हम उसे भगवान, ये हमें हम उसे बहुत इच्छा करी चुनती, आओ तापरे घरों द्वारों सब आम को कोट दी चुनती, आम को रोहिबा पाई, सब व्यवस्था कोट दी चुनती, तापरे बर्तों माने एक ने इन मेसरे मत्ते खाई बात को चुनती, वो तांको चरण
सदर के वजह से अन्य लोग का परिवर्तन हो गया मतलब इन्होंने कागज पर बात करने के लिए किसी ने उनको घृणा करता था जिससे उनको छूने के लिए छूते भी नहीं थे वो जब रास्ता में जाते थे तो साइड होकर जाते थे सदर के वजह से अभी बहुत कुछ सुधर गया है for the marian also felt the urgent need to take utmost care of the children of the lepers so that they may not fall prey to the same dreaded disease with this noble thought he began a children's home that provided them nutritious food and timely medical aid a primary school was exclusively built for them as they were not accepted in other schools to make these socially and economically outcast lepers self-reliant for the marian began an agricultural farm to grow coconuts and vegetables a poultry farm a fish farm for pisciculture again amaro total eighty nodia macho au gai cow farm total jaya the amaro income hochi sehi hostel pila au leprosy loko kapai hi hochi ita A workshop for orthopedic shoe manufacturing. This same medicine घर दे रहे हैं, तब जो तक आते हैं दे रहे हैं, जो तक आते हैं दे रहे हैं लोग औरे, वहाँ तो फादर को ले, देखो प्रॉब्लम चला हुआ, जो तक काम है दे रहे हैं, उनको फादर वो तो किसी जाने नहीं, ना मुन्नी से मास्टर डॉक्टर के तो बोलते नहीं थे, किसी दिन काम उसके खिला� A unit for coir and jute products manufacturing, and a tailoring unit for women. All managed and run by the cured leprosy patients themselves. एवं से काम देवा उद्देश्य आम यहाँ करें समस्त झीव बो माँ मैंने आई कम कर सुजोग दि जाऊँगी बेकार घर बस कि बस अपेक्षा निजे ये किसी से निजर रोजगार कर निजर पर मेन्टेनान्स कर प्रडक्ट आर सोल्ड टू द कलोनी इनमेट्स चिलड्रेन्स हस्टेल मर्सी किचेन एक्सेट्रा for the marian also sponsored the deserving and the poor children for the basic education and specialized training in nursing computers etc who today total around 500 all these activities emanated from father marian besides his pastoral ministry as a parish priest of puri when father marian realized the need for a full time involvement he took a transfer from the parish and in 1991 began to live in a plot of land donated by YMCA in close vicinity to the leper colony baptizing it as Isopanti Ashram the little dilapidated chapel at the center of the plot with a faded picture of Jesus Christ which he renovated immediately became the main source of strength and refuge at all seasons for all the spiritual activities He got no uh, sparing of himself, himself, and no comfort so nor giving his uh, very life. This virtuous life derived from the uh, from his uh, very spirituality. I appreciate it. For the Marian became a bapa to all who came in contact with him. because in what you were hidden there was compassion concern sympathy and love for all without any distinction father hamare na hamara god hai wo hum hum jab wo paida hua ek saal sa hua tha wo humko god mein leke bhejta hai father maria wo hamara god hai father maria ne jaisa wo nahi aaya father maria no was a man a very secular man he respected though he was a father a catholic priest he had lot of respect for the people of other religion service was his main intention 
doesn't matter which religion you belong to. He was a very ecumenical man. Under his leadership, it was his dream to unite all the churches in Puri town under one umbrella. Father Mariano was an extraordinary man. There are many examples that I can cite. But to quote a few, I would say that he was such, a, such an inspiration for so many people. Father Mary Mariano was kind of godfather to me. I have learned so much from him that till my last breath, I will never forget him. He has touched me, he has touched my heart and he has inspired me so much with the good work that his, he has done in this town, especially for the lepers. Makes me feel that he was an angel that we always miss him. His inter-religious dialogue approach made him more of a Puri Ponda than a European Christian missionary. People of every category came to visit and pay their respects to this man of God, who felt equally at home with the lepers and the chief priest of Jagannath Temple as well. For the Marian still had one more dream to be fulfilled, a center of Christian spirituality and dialogue that would act as an epitome of Christian witness in Puri and home for prayer, retreats, interreligious dialogue, yoga, etc. Once before his death, his dream got realized and St. Arnold's Center for Spirituality, Dialogue and Counseling was inaugurated in January 2001. For the Marian's missionary journey of 56 years in India, of which 31 years in Puri, came to a sudden halt on 30th April 2006. He who wished to die with his shoes on had this desire fulfilled as he walked to his car after attending the annual auspicious festival of Akshaya Tathiya and collapsed suddenly in the arms of his accompanying leper friends due to massive cardiac arrest. The world didn't fail to capture Father Marian's humble service. He was twice nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize in 1992 and 1993. Today, numerous books and documentaries expound his missionary journey in the service of humanity. As we fondly remember for the Marian Zelazik on the 10th anniversary of his sudden parting from his mission land of the lepers, the poor, the unwanted and the needy children, the conference of SVD India East province with great vigor and vitality carry forward all his initiatives recalling his spirit in his own words. It is not difficult to be good, provided you want to be so. When he expired that day also, I ran like anything at 4 o'clock morning 
in this road. All dogs are barking to see me. They thought I am thief or what. Then father, what is his name? I have forgotten father was that time. Then they told brother, no staff at all. But who is this lady sitting from the four o'clock night to nine o'clock? Then we came to school to see the students. And we cry, we like, we pray to God. Father is a good man and good man. This is my life with Father Maria. The humble primary school, Beatrix School, which is started for the children of the lepers, has grown into a high school aptly named for the Marian Memorial Beatrix High School. It is patronized by all the children of the neighborhood, irrespective of caste, creed, and color, with the strength of more than 650 students. I am indeed happy to be here to carry on the work that Father Marian started here in the Karnalaya Leprosy Care Center. The school that Father initiated from this very place under these trees and later he himself built it up to the 7th class level is now completed up to 10th class level and two groups have written the exam. And other aspects of work that Father carried out are, are rather going well, including the treatment of the leprosy patients and the treatment of the victims of the leprosy. Sad to say that after so many years of work, we still have a few patients every year being treated new for the disease. And the doctor who is coming faithfully carrying on the job well. The hospital has undergone a major renovation and it is definitely a better place for the patients who come there. The Mercy Kitchen is serving the needs of many handicapped people for their food for their clothing, for their stationery, also for their cremation. And an important thing that father started the housing, we have taken up a second step to get it renovated and rebuilt since it was getting dilapidated slowly. The Jutan Choir Center is taking another step ahead through mechanizing the loom to make the rope. Yasha Bagicha, the Garden of Hope, also has taken a turn one step ahead with growing 15 cows there, which gives milk to the Mercy Kitchen and to the children in the hostel. We are indeed grateful to Father Marian for the great work that he once did and for the great blessings that he continues to give us through many people's help across the globe. In this occasion I thank each one of those people who are keenly interested in the welfare of the people. As desired by so many of his admirers and beneficiaries, both in India and Poland, we have begun to pray earnestly for the speedy process of the beatification of Father Marian, a simple, humble and truly a man of God, who by his presence in Puri has truly made the holy city of Lord Jagannath 
a holier city and a better place to live. May his spirit live forever in the lives and hearts of us all.